Hi, so in this tour video, I'm going to teach you how to make an apron um, that looks like this. So first, you start out by you have to cut your fabric. So you need um, two different um, type, kind of two different kind of fabric. Um, you need fabric for the main apron. So this, like I have flowers, and then you need a different color fabric for the contrast. Um, so um, for this, I have um, polka dot, pink polka dot. Um, and you want them to kind of match a little, like, see the pink of the polka dot kind of goes with the pink here. Um, so you have something that will, like, you know, go together. Um, okay, so I have here, I have cat fabric for mine, and I have cat fabric for my main, this might going to be my apron. And then for my contrast, I have black with with the white dots. So the, see the black, you know, it goes together. Um, so yeah, so you want the apron fabric to be um, about three feet wide um, by about three feet wide this way by um, 15 inches up and down. So yeah, and you want um, this to be um, the contrast to be about the same, the same three feet um, wide, uh, three feet wide, and then uh, let's see here. You want it to be about four to five inches um, up and down. So yeah. So then once you have your fabric cut out, you take your contrast fabric and you take the end of the, the bottom of the apron and you you put it wrap it or the contract in the apron so like so like this if you can see that there. So you have to put the apron fabric inside the contrast, like so. Um, and then you do that the whole way down the apron and then pin it. Okay, so now that you have pinned it, you are going to, um, and I also ironed it too, that's why it's like so fun. Um, you are going to sew along the top here, all the way across, with the from sew the contrast and the contrast fabric and it together. Okay, now that you have um, sewn the contrast onto your fabric, so you have something that looks like this. Now you are going to up here. So, um, about, I'd say, a half an inch from the top of the fabric, you're going to sew um, a line straight across the fabric, um, all the way across. And when you do this line, you have to put the machine on um, wide st on the widest stitch, um, and you have to. Um, oh, and you can't knot the end of it because if you knot the end of it or don't put it on the widest stitch, it won't work. So yeah, so do that to do all the way across the fabric, about half an inch from the top, and then right. Below, about a fourth of an inch below that stitch, you do another stitch all the way across the fabric, um, and you have to do wide stitch um, and can't knot the ends for that one too. 
Okay, now that I have sewed the two lines at the top, so see, here is my lines. I don't know if you can see them because it's kind of, it's like black on black, but there. Now you take the, you take the string that's like left, like on the end, after you sewed. And take the string of the bow stitches. Hold on here. The top string of bow stitches. on the string and see it scrunches this it crunch, scrunches it together like so when you pull on the string. Like so. So do that for both sides and make so the skirt gets all like yeah, so it's good to like this on both sides. Okay, so now that you have um, scrunched it together like this, now you're going to put your pockets on. So you have your pockets cut out, like so. Or I have my pockets, you cut your pockets, I have my pockets cut out right here. And you're going to take the contrast fabric and you're going to cut out um, a rectangle um, about this big. See, I have the darker pink with the dots about this big. Um, or a little bigger than that because you're going to like put it around the other side and you're going to like put it on top of the pocket so you have to measure um, how wide your pocket is and then you know, take a like rectangle and like then fold it over and like sew it so yeah so yeah take a square rectangle pound of fabric and put it on here pin it and then sew it like on the cat fabric on your pocket fabric. Okay, so once you have sewn um, the contrast onto the top of the pockets, it will look something like this. Okay, so now you're done with the pockets. So now you can, I think I'm going to do the apron tie snatch, you're going to tie it in the back. So um, to do the apron ties, um, you take you take one, you cut out one strip of your, or two strips, of your ignore fire fabric, so I have two strips of cat fabric here, and then I have two strips of my contrast fabric because I'm going to put cat fabric and then contrast like so it's like the back is the contrast so yeah so you put pretty to pretty like that so you have the two like back sides facing outward okay so then you sew um, along the edges here and then you turn it inside out so I'll sew first and then show you when I turn it inside out okay now that you have sewn um, the your two tight two um, the fabric ties together um, you're going to 
reach in the little side that you didn't sew and you're going to reach in and turn it inside out so like turn it like that okay so now that you have um, turned your both of your ties inside out you have two ties that look like this and now you're going to go and iron, iron them down flat okay so now that you have ironed your ties down you're going to take um, your waistband fabric so here's my waistband fabric that I cut out and you're going to take this um, I don't remember what it's called but it's like this um, like thick thicker material that looks like this that you put um, like inside the fabric to make it like thicker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a um, piece of this that fits the size of my waistband fabric okay so I cut um, a piece of um, the white stuff um, as big as the fabric for the waistband um, so yeah now that I did that I'm going to take my apron and I'm going to fold the side the ends over like so the whole way then the whole way across the apron and fold over once and then iron it to press it down and then fold it over again and then press it down and then sew it and we'll do that for both sides 